Um, it was mixed. It was mixed. I was, I was worried. Uh, then um, I just continued to use, you know, and so it's to mask the fear. And uh, I just continued to use and, and uh, didn't talk about it, didn't become educated about it. In fact, it's remained a secret of mine for over 15 years. I never talked about it to anybody when the subject came around. I didn't engage anybody. But I, knowing that I had it, I protected people, you know, and, you know, whenever I had sexual encounters, because my wife did pass away four years later after we were diagnosed. So life does go on. And, um, and I, you know, did have some relationships afterwards. And so knowing that, you know, I protected the people I was with, but they didn't know the exact nature of why, you know, uh, I knew. Uh, when I became sick, I uh, I decided that I that I really needed to clean up, you know. And when I moved to Buffalo, I um, I was uh, I, I was intent on on getting back into the field, but I hadn't done it, not, nothing. I started to, but it was short lived, a couple of years ago. And then recently, like maybe five months ago, I said, you know what, do something. Um, uh, it's time for you to, you know, just, you know, just don't let the sand run out the hourglass without contributing to this, you know, and um, this is what I'm doing again. I've, I re-engaged. I have a strong spiritual, uh, you know, uh, network and I have strong uh, people in the veterans community because I'm a veteran, I'm a Navy veteran, and, uh, and I talk to people in that area. I've, I've you know, I've undergone counseling, you know, uh, I've had to undergo counseling myself to, you know, sort of sort out some of the things that, you know, that I fought with, like, for example, you know, the thing about my wife passing away and me not passing away. I, I struggled with that, you know, and, and uh, you know, I, it had to be hammered into me that, you know, it wasn't necessarily my fault, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, people do have choices, and that was a bitter pill for me to swallow, you know. Uh, I was one of those marginal students that that uh, didn't do well in school. After my introduction to to substances and girls, I I became distracted, you know, and uh, and I barely made it through school. I, but at the age of 17, I did graduate, and I joined the Navy, and I was successful in that. And uh, then after that, I went to work for Department of Defense Police in D.C. I had a White House security clearance and all this other stuff. And I tell you that HIV does not care. It didn't discriminate that I had credentials, that I had made it through the slums and all that kind of stuff, that I, that I had the potential to do good. It didn't matter.